Hi everybody. Today I decided to do a book review. I was doing a painting and it was not coming out very well. Um, I'm not real happy with it and it's not finished so it's getting late and I thought well I'll post a video today. I've been wanting to show you this for a while. This is a book that I got for Christmas and um, this is just the back cover. Um, it is by John Selmanin. He is a wonderful um, American watercolorist. He's probably one of the best of our time, if not the best of our time. The detail in his work is absolutely amazing. He does urban landscape paintings, and they are out of this world beautiful. They're done totally in watercolor, and this is the book. It weighs about, oh, I don't know, maybe eight pounds. It's a large book. It measures, um, it's 12 by 10 and a half. So it's 10 and a half by 12. It's a very big book. I can't really even fit the whole thing in the camera uh, lens. I'm standing up in order to show you. Um, but it is called John Selmanin, Master of the Urban Landscape, From Realism to Abstractions in Watercolor. This he, he started out in abstract art and somewhere along the way got into um, landscape art. So his chapters start with the architectural form and then chapter two is on the organic form, chapter three the human form, and chapter four a shadow and light. And his work is out of this world amazing. I'm not going to be able to show you the whole book, but there are areas that I do want to show you, um, like that one. But this is some of his abstract stuff that he does. If you're into abstract art, um, he's a great abstract artist as well. Um, he talks about his story. He got into watercolor painting, um, was introduced to it, in a series of postgraduate classes that he had taken in the University of Minnesota. Um, his teacher, Mr. Chi, was sharing his Eastern and Western um, style of watercolor with um, John Selmanin, and that's how he ended up getting into watercolor. He wanted him to approach watercolor painting with creative emotions that would give the painting heart and give it intellectual structure, um, to provide framework for his paintings. So they evolved, and then he got into the urban landscape. And these photos are out of this world. Um, let me take some of the glare off of that there. That'll help. There we go. Um, but you can see the detail in his work is unbelievable. And there's some storytelling that goes along with it, but most of it is just pictures looking at his work. Um, there's some stuff that I wanted to show you back here. Oh, I mean, look at Paris. He went all over the world, and his paintings are from everywhere. They're all urban landscapes. He takes these mundane, these mundane areas like this, and he turns them into gorgeous paintings, absolutely gorgeous paintings. So one thing I wanted to show you that always amazed me was the way he does trees. His approach to trees is very interesting, and it looks like he, well, at least in this one, it looks like he painted the branches in. I'm going to zoom in on it so that you can actually see how he paints these. I mean, look at this stuff. The, the level of detail that went into it is amazing. And down here, and it's all these light washes where you're not really sure if there's branches there or not, but if you were to walk down the street and look through a tree, this is how you would see it. All fractured and broken up into these little dots and, and holes and things like that. And so, to me, I was just mesmerized by that. There's another one in the back here um, where he does this. But, I mean, look at the detail of his work. It is phenomenal, just absolutely phenomenal. I just love it. I'm trying to get the, maybe turn the brightness down on this. Maybe it'll help. There we go. Um, you can see so much detail in the work here. 
when you zoom in and look at the detail of all these little dots and things that he does. It's just, it's amazing to me. Um, so anyway, um, but there was another tree. Oh, here it is right here. This one is, is beautiful to me. And it looks like negative painting. It almost looks like he put pink dots in, but he couldn't have because it's too light. Um, so I'm going to zoom in again so that you can see this. Look at the detail of that. I'll just kind of move the book around. Look at, look at how he did this. And these paintings are huge. Um, this one is 36 by 24. So two feet by three feet. Just amazing. And look at that. Look at how he did that. Isn't that just phenomenal? So I sit, I lay on my couch, and I just, I just look at this, and I'm just mesmerized by all these little things that he does. Uh, his work is just phenomenal to me. Let me, I'll zoom out so you can see this full painting now. But um, the book is huge. It's not cheap. Um, it's, you know, it's, I don't know, I think... Maybe it was only $35. I mean, that is pretty cheap. Here's another tree where he did that same style of thing. And that was with leaves. Um, doing the leaves like that. Darn. I'm going to turn my lamp down. I think I'm still getting too much glare. There we go. Maybe that will help you. Um, but isn't it just amazing? Just beautiful work. I, I am just totally in awe by by his work. You can take workshops with him. There's another tree where he did the same thing. Um, he does workshops all over the world. And um, he's just an amazing guy. This guy, here's some information, some details on the back cover about him. He's a world-renowned watercolor artist and teacher. A signature member of numerous art societies, including the American Watercolor Society and the National Watercolor Society, he has won more than 230 awards in national and international exhibitions. He has exhibited his work in more than 30 one-person and small group shows in the U.S. and has been an invited artist in more than 40 international watercolor exhibitions and small group shows in China, Canada, Taiwan, Thailand, Russia, Singapore, Mexico, Italy, Turkey, Belgium, Pakistan, and Australia. His work is included in the permanent collections of the Asian Museum of Watercolor Art, the Guanhua Watercolor Art Gallery, and the Museum in China, and the American Art Museum, as well as numerous private and corporate collections throughout the U.S., John's work has been featured in more than 80 articles in national and international magazines and in 32 published books. So, if you're looking for a good coffee table book, something that you just want to sit down with your morning coffee and just um, leaf through some gorgeous artwork, this is the book for you. There's almost 200 pages of artwork, full, all full page. They're beautiful full page artwork. So anyway, it's an awesome book. And if you get a chance to get it or you have some extra money and you're looking for something to get, a good book to get, this isn't an instructional book. It's just basically an artwork book. Like I said, though, there is a lot of information about him and why he painted what he painted. Um, some of them don't have any any headings except what the title of the work is. This is a way to have his work in your home, in print, without having to purchase all the prints. You know what I mean? Here's Bryant Park, and he talks about Central Park and the visitors um, coming around. And oh, Look at this one. That is just gorgeous. That must have been a spring painting when, when all the, the trees were in bloom in the spring. Isn't that gorgeous? So anyway, I love this book. I was so excited when I opened it at Christmas. I couldn't believe it. I, w I was just so happy. So um, if you're looking for something good, 
get this book. And this is just the outer, the, um, the um, cover protector, whatever they're called. And this is what it looks like inside. Um, if you take the, the um, sleeve off, he's got totally different paintings on there. There's the back. So, gorgeous book. I keep this on to protect it, though. I love it. I love this book. And it sits on my coffee table in my living room. And I look at it daily. <laughs> so, um, everybody have a great night. Um, I hope you had a great day. And uh, don't forget, please be kind to each other. And be kind to me in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.